right, we're going to do some more questions, graphing questions with y equals mx plus b. In these questions, you're not making a table, you're not even making a graph. You're just manipulating the equation so that y equals mx plus b. Basically, this is very simple stuff from the third chapter, which is solving equations. We set up our equation with y, y equals mx plus b, or y equals whatever it equals, and then we coordinate that or we look at that in terms of mx plus b with m as the slope and b as the y-intercept. Let's go ahead and check these out. So 4x equals 9y plus 7. This is number 26. To find the y-intercept and slope, we have to solve for y. So what's our first step, Savon? Um, subtract. Um, subtract. Uh, subtract. 1 to 7, subtract. Yeah, good. Subtract 7. Good. Nice one. Now, we're going to rewrite it. We've got 4x minus 7 over here now equals 9y. What about switching that around? Remember we were able to do that? Do you guys remember when we switched things around? It just makes things easier if we go 9y equals 4x minus 7. All right, that's the commutative property over, a, over a, the equal sign, all right? So what do we do next, Gabby? Both sides? Divide by 9. Now if you want to go like this, fine. But this actually separates into those two things, all right? So y equals 4 over 9x, we're running out of space. I'm going to just write it over here. Equals 4 over 9x minus 7 over 9. And since y equals mx plus b, right? I'm going to write that in red, do a little diagram. And what's our m and what's our b? Well, you can't tell from that. You need to draw it out, okay? This is where it gets fun. You get the visual element here and take your colored marker. There's your m, okay? The x is always the x. It, does, it lines up, right? And your b is what? It's a little tricky because we haven't talked about this, but what's your b equal to, Ingrid? Do you know? Right, what about the negative sign, though? Yeah. You keep it, yeah. So it's actually negative 7 over 9. Your answer is negative 7 over 9, okay? So m is equal to what? 4 over 9. b, Amanda, is equal to what? Negative 7 over 9. Nice, thank you. That's your answer. Okay, let's look at number 24, unless there are any questions. Do you have any questions on that? I think the trickiest thing about that was being able to, you know, move things around enough and get the right fractions, and then recognize that b is negative 7 over 9, because that negative sign is part of that, okay? So the y-intercept is actually going to be below 0, 0. Um, number 24, what do we do first? We're solving for y. We want this. Add 2x. That's a given. So, Stephen, what do we get? Um, you get negative 9y equals 13 plus 2x. Okay, but I would rather put 2x that in cubed. See, you start to see the logic the more you do these. And that's why you have so much homework. You know why? Because until you do a lot of these, you don't see these patterns, they don't become ingrained in you. All right, so then what do we do on both sides or all sides, Tamara? Uh, negative nine. Yeah. Be careful. Now, I'll tell you what, it's going to be easier for you. Sorry, I think you said it wrong. Yeah, said it wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y equals mx plus b, right? So don't be afraid of negatives. Let's finish it off. Negatives, let's finish it off. Negative two over nine. Negative 2x over 9, right? No, no, no. No? Uh, you don't have to no, deal with x. Negative. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so m is equal to negative 2 over 9, b is negative 13 over 9, done like this. All right. This is zero slope, right? Because now we're going to go undefined, straight up and down. Right, up and down. There you go. Now you're going to go just like this, positive slope, right, from left to right. Now put that even, and that way there's negative slope, okay? Now do positive slope again, guys. Go undefined, yep, zero slope, negative slope, positive slope, 